here. Bam, 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 bam. Frightening moments for shoppers at a local Walmart tonight. Police rushed to the store off Brightleaf Boulevard. That's just off US 70 and Interstate 95. It all happened about 5 o'clock for a report of a shooting. Tonight, we know one person was shot. We first brought this to you as breaking news tonight at 5 o'clock. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer has been at the store talking to police and customers all evening. Zach, what have you learned? Well, Marius, police have roped off this part of the parking lot earlier today. In fact, I want to show you this behind me. You can see part of the caution tape that was here all evening long earlier tonight. Now, the store was open when we first got here. So far, we do not know the condition of the person shot. There's still questions surrounding that and what led up to the shooting, but shoppers told us all of this is just too close to home. Everybody was ducking, running to the door, trying to get in. Bobby Barber and his friends were shopping at this Walmart in Smithfield Friday afternoon. They were just coming out of the store when they heard gunshots. Had me here, bam, 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 bam. Police responding to the parking lot just after 5 o'clock where they found one person shot. Johnson County EMS took the victim to a nearby hospital. Barber and others seeing the aftermath unfold. It ain't safe to go nowhere no more. It should not be happening at a Walmart. Dwayne Guin lives near the Walmart, not wanting to show his face for safety reasons, he says he heard multiple gunshots while trying to find a parking spot. It was literally just constant. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And people were out here screaming and hollering. When the police got here, they had to disperse everybody to get them out of the way. Uh, and they immediately started caution taping the area off. You could really tell there was something bad happening. Their thoughts are with the victim. It's an uneasy feeling to know people are shooting people in Smithfield now. It's always, always another way besides shooting. And Smithfield police haven't released any suspect information at this time. However, they are asking you to give them a call if you witnessed or know anything about this shooting. Live in Smithfield, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.